Yo, yo, what it do, Giants fans? Hopefully, y'all having a good day, and let's get straight into the video. Now, I never talked about the coaching staff as much. You know, I want to talk about Wink Martindale for now, because I like his defensive schemes, you know, for the Ravens. Look, you know what he brought to the table? He's a high, facet paced guy, you know, who loves to blitz a lot on defense. Because right, right here, I'm going to show the photo, you know, of his percentages. Because you know why? For the last four years, he was second and first most of the time. Because that's a, a defensive coordinator we need for the New York Giants. But in my personal opinion, I'm going to do like a, a few players. You know, I'm not going to do a lot of people. I'm going to do a few players who I think who could really succeed with his a defensive scheme. You know, because... I expect the Giants to blitz a lot, so, you know, but first Giants player, like I said, is going to be right here. I'm going to do, do it for every single, yeah, I'm going to do it like that. First person is up is Leonard Williams. You know, I believe he had six or eight and a half sacks or whatever. This is going to be right, right here. Y'all's going to see it, but. I think Little Williams can really succeed in Martindale's defensive scheme. I'm going to tell you why. I personally believe because he just needs a a defensive tackle like net, like next to him. That's all Little Williams needs. If he gets like a deep tackle, like a Dallas Thompson replacement, basically, he could play a, a much better game. I know he had a good year. Like, last year or last season, he was really good with the Giants on defense. But it's been at times where he don't show up because he got to be more consistent. That's why we needed a D-tackle. When we had Dalvin Thompson, him and Leonard, Leonard Williams, they was a, a one-two punch combo. When them two was on the field, a lot of people were scared to go against the Giants. Like, a lot of people used to fear Dalvin Thompson. With little, little Williams, he's really good. He could stop the run. He could get to the quarterback. You know, I really like little, little Williams. I think he could succeed with his, with the Martindale scheme on defense. Like, I believe in him. I'm going to continue to root for, you know, little Williams because he's a 3-4 guy. So, it's still some things. There's a few things he can improve on, but. We got Wing Marndell for a reason, so hopefully he teaches him like his techniques or whatever. Yeah, we're going to do it. Next player we're going to be talking about is Xavier McKinney. You know, I really like Xavier McKinney a lot for our defense. You know, he had five interceptions with us. He had five picks. He had two on Jalen Hurts. Two on Derek Carr. No, 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 no. Not two on Derek Carr. Yeah, he did. He did have two on. Yeah. I believe he had a pick on Matthew Stafford. I could have sworn he had two picks that game. But they said he finished with, with, with five picks. I'm probably tripping right now. You know, he had five picks. I really like McKinney. He's going to be that safety. Listen. He's going to be a Pro Bowler next season. This season coming up, whatever, watch him be an NFL Pro Bowler. With with the Wink Martindale scheme, like he likes to blitz a lot. McKinney is the perfect safety to get to the quarterback. That That's your guy right there. You know, he played for Alabama. That That is going to be the, the player. Watch out for Xavier McKinney. A lot of people sleeping on him because a lot of people are not talking about him as much. Listen, when he's a pro bowler, y'all going to be thinking me. or it, If the champ is right, y'all going to be saying that. Watch. You know? With the 3-4 scheme, McKinney is the perfect safety. He, he could get to the quarterback. He could play coverage. Even though it's a few things he could play, he got to kind of get better at it. But he's young, so I'm not too mad at him. I like McKinney. When we drafted him in a early second round, I believe so. That was one of my favorite picks of the draft. 
you know, I like the pick. It's been working out for us the whole time, so I'm excited for it. And yeah, next player coming up, Aaron Robinson. You know, he's the New York Giants slot corner for us. You know, he plays slot corner. He can play outside corner. Like, you know how Authority Jackson or Jace Bradbury role is? He can actually play it. He's really underrated. Watch him for the next two to three years. Watch him be a pro bowler. But he's going to be one of those players who's going to be the key to the defense. That's how I see it with Aaron Robinson. You know? I really think he could succeed with Wink's Mar Martindale's scheme on defense. I think it could work out with Aaron Robinson. You know, he could play slot corner, outside corner. You know, he's young. You know, he's going to he's gonna get beat by wide receivers. But when he gets a little bit older, I think he'll get more experience as a corner. He, he could get better. That That's what I could personally see with Aaron Robinson. You know, a guy like him. That's your like that's like your death piece corner. You know, you got Aaron Robinson in the third round for a reason. When we first did it, I wasn't a, a fan of it at first, but when we got him, I look at the game tape, watched him in college. At the at the it, it get used to it so you know, I like Aaron Robinson a lot because he could play he's actually good at slot corner. He can actually tackle. That is the key. Because the Giants have been so bad for years at tackling. A guy like Aaron Robinson, McKinney, they can tackle. That's something we can look forward to. And we have a bright future with him. So, and let's get it. I can't wait for him to play in next season. Hopefully, what he's got, you know, hopefully he plays his best, does well, you know, help us win games. The last player, at least but not least, Aziz Ojolari. Aziz Ojolari. I love uh, Aziz Ojolari. He's a beast. He's one of the best rookies on defense. You know, Michael Parsons won defensive rookie of the year. You know? If Aziz Ojolari would have produced more numbers than Michael Parsons, Aziz Ojolari was a defensive player of the year. You know, he had eight sacks for the season with us as a rookie. That's actually good for us. Like, it's been a long time since we had a rookie, like, over eight sacks. But with the 3-4 scheme, with the blitzing, we're going to blitz a lot. Aziz Ojolari is going to be that pass rusher. I will hope by this third or fourth year, he should be that dominant pass rusher. I know for the second season... His second season coming up, I know we expect, like, too much coming up. You know, he's expected to do, like, a lot. I think he's projected to get 15 sacks. That, that, and that's the most I'm going to give him. Hopefully, he break, he, he, he goes further than that. I think he's going to have a 15-sack season. I'm going to tell you why. When we, when we drive certain people, like a D-tackle, a linebacker, that's going to help Aziz Archelari game even more. Certain players, like, getting drafted, like, you know how Parsons got drafted to Dallas? You know, it changed their defense. And you see how the defense been playing the way they was been playing? Certain, certain players on defense changes a lot of things. Like, Parsons changed that Dallas defense. Dallas defense was so bad. They got Parsons. Their defense is just a, a, above average at best. It ain't good. It's just above average. Imagine the Giants do the same thing. Imagine we take like a hopefully a five, a Aiden Hutchinson on the board. Hopefully, that changes the entire defense. Like certain players on the defense has has a huge impact. You know, if we get a guy like that in the draft, Aziz Ochilari already good. Just imagine what this defense is gonna be like within the next two to three years. You know. We're going to be expected to be a top eight defense. I'm not saying we're top five. I'm not going to go that far, you know. You know, I really, with Aziz Ojolari, he had eight sacks. Matter of fact, instead of 15, let's push it to 16. 
You know, we going we gonna to double it up. You know, if he could get the, if he has a 16-sack season, I will get his jersey. You heard it from me. I will buy Aziz Ojolari jersey if he gets 16 sacks. And what he does, we going to be hyped up, you know? And let's get it, man. Oh, this video is not over. Well, it is over now. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. But that's going to do it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Turn notifications on. Turn the bells on, share the video, tell other people to like the video, try to get your people to my people to sub up to my channel, and yeah, that's gonna do it, you know, everybody have a good day, be great, and we out, yeah.